Hey, this is King David, David Glide Music, BeatClass.com, and this is just going to be a quick lesson, um, kind of the lesson that you get when you download our tutorials at BeatClass.com. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick lesson. Now, the difference between us and other tutorial teachers is that our tutorials are not free. The reason why is because they're actually good. So we create a product that's worth uh, being sold around the world, and we sell them around the world every day. Now, here's why we're uh, a little bit more advanced than others, because we not only teach you how to use FL Studio, but we teach you how to apply the techniques to real music. So we teach you how to write the music, record the music, uh, create the music, edit the music, uh, master the music, and then sell the music. So we take you from beginning all the way to the end and then how to actually make connections in the music industry and become a music producer. So that's the difference and you tell me which one would you rather want? A bunch of free tutorials or a tutorial that can get you from point A to point B? You tell me. Just just let me know. Okay, so I wrote this track obviously yesterday. Uh, this is for my haters. Incredible song. Just to let you guys know what time it is and in this particular tutorial um, I just want to show you why and how you can use a volume envelopes now it's one thing to tell you how to use or create a volume envelope but then it's a completely different thing to show you how to apply it in your music okay now this is uh, one thing I had vocals now if you look really closely here the vocals here start off low the main reason why is I was freestyling and a lot of times you have an artist who doesn't uh, completely own their part or don't know their part and maybe they owned it and the volume um, is just not loud enough and you can see here how it goes from small to big and so by the end here it's it's pretty huge so I didn't really want to change the 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 ending part of the volume but I wanted to change the beginning so it was louder right so what did I do okay let's go to that track all right we're gonna go to our channel mixer and we're going to pick that particular track, right? So I can just go ahead and play it. And Give me pay. I'm a producer from yeah, way I can back see in that the my I can see that my wave is here. I have it running through effects channel 17. Now you can always set your effects channels by just assigning the next free mixer track. Uh, for me, that doesn't work because I use recording uh, tracks and I use my FPC and I separate all my drums on all separate FX. Uh, channels which I suggest that you do as well so you can have greater control over your mix and hopefully you guys are uh, learning from this so going out of 17 I'm gonna come over here to my mixer alright mixer channel 17 then I'm gonna go to the actual volume knob right right click on it and create an automation clip by left clicking alright what that is doing is creating a volume automation clip that means I'll be able to automate the volume of that particular track okay all right now again many people know this but a lot of people don't know how to apply this it's just like you know there's one thing to know something but to apply it is a completely different thing and I'll ask you a question if you went on YouTube and you watch a bunch of free tutorials on how to operate do open heart surgery uh, would you then feel comfortable to actually operate on someone's heart I don't think so alright so really what we're doing now is giving you the actual application not just a bunch of information we're showing you how to to do the operation alright so we made this uh, envelope right uh, the very first thing that I n had to do was adjust the envelope points All right? let's just act like this never happened let's bring it down to the way it started off okay it started off similar to this alright what I had to do is go in and right click and create a point all right just right click all right now whenever I want to change a point on the audio I have to use two different things my zoom time tool so I can zoom so I can get greater accuracy all right if I zoom all the way out all right I have less uh, of these points that I can, can create right and music is all about the details so the, the, the more you can change that details of the music the more brilliant and professional your music will sound even if it's a simple song it will sound more detailed it's like when you have your car detailed it looks so much better than just a regular cleaning and that's what we want to do we want to go in and detail our music all right notice I keep using those words and emphasizing those words so that you can start using them 
in the way that you approach music and the way that you think about music it's important to use the right words okay so here we go so we notice that it's small here so I'm gonna create a point before and a little bit before and then after and a little bit further after and then I can begin to bring my parts up now I noticed that there was a slow increase in the volume probably because I got more confident as I got along through the line as I was uh, freestyling. So what I'm going to do is bring it up, right? I'm going to make a slow decline in my envelope. So that will start louder and get softer. And then by the time it gets to my final point over here, um, I had already, I guess, got my confidence and my volume level was right where it needed to be. So that should actually cure that whole situation. All right, let's go ahead and listen and see what it does to the mix. All right, let's do a before and after. I'll bring this back down. Let's listen before. You can barely hear it. From way back in the days, and I'm making hits that still amaze. They call me KD or King David. All right, so now let's go ahead and make that change again. And let's see how that actually affects the whole entire mix. I'm not going to go up too high, but I'm going to go a little bit more. Now, if you, as you're moving this up and down, if you notice over here, there'll be a number here that will give you a representation of uh, where that point is. It's going to be a percentage number, and then a, there'll be a point number. All right, we're going to go by the percentage number. So it starts down here somewhere around 48. We're going to go up, let's say, to 68. All right, so we're going to uh, bring it up 20%, right? Now, uh, just judging by the look of it, you can say, well, yeah, that's about 20% smaller than the highest point in the mix, right? So you can use, you can eyeball it, or if you're a good mathematician, you can figure it out, figure out the math. Now let's listen to it. You ready? Coming my way, trying to get me paid. I'm a producer from way back in the days. And I'm making hits that still amaze. They call me KD. Alright, so now everything has kind of righted itself. And it, it fixed itself. And uh, the volume is, is good to go. So again, that is just a quick tutorial in the real world application of real music production. Professional music production. Um, I never think that is enough to just give you a bunch of free information without showing you how to apply it okay it, it, that will never ever get you the way you really want to go now maybe you just want to be a hobby guy and have fun that's okay too there's a place for everyone right the place at bclass.com is for people who are, who are hobbyists who want to have fun with it and then we have that class of elite producers who are trying to become professional music producers all right and that's where we we really really uh, help all of those groups and we appreciate you guys coming to bclass.com, checking out our tutorials, uh, becoming lifetime members. We got a lot of lifetime members. Two ninety nine, you get everything we got forever. I right? listen to the song. Peace. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, this is the King David freestyle. <laughs> when you come to B class, you'll learn how to produce music like this. Listen. Trying to get me paid I'm a producer from way back in the days And I'm making hits that still amaze They call me KD or King David Or you are the whack MC, save it You cannot match what I produce Cause I got the juice and you know that's true So don't mess around with the real OG KD plays with the real MCs And I make music that's sure to please can you know I bring you down to your knees I freestyle on the mic, never lose my composure I got rhymes that will shut down enclosure I'm just the best at what I do So you can bring your family and your crew Come on from my haters You ain't never gonna get up with me Cause I always be ahead of what you do Oh
Alright then, KingDavidBclass.com, David and Goliath Music. One love.